Welcome friends, fiends, and familiars to the Comic Fiends Comic Friends. On this show, I bring on friends to talk about comics. This week, I've got my comic friend, Good Job Grandpa. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is exciting. Yeah. Uh, I've been sort of bothering you to be on for a little while, and finally your schedule cleared <laughs> up a little bit. I want to say it was but, bothering, but I mean, happy to be um, on. Yeah. Uh, so, Good Job Grandpa friend of the show hello, hello. long time family friend in real life mm. finishing up school in the next couple of weeks yes and within the next uh month month and a month month or two yeah and uh i i uh we're, we're not blood related but i like to think of you like a little brother that i never <laughs> see because i don't i don't visit we're uh, not blood leave. related we don't see each other but we still kind of have that kind of relationship i guess yeah 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 we're, we're, we're cool we're cool <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss anything? Or is that, That's that pretty cover good. It? Yeah. Excellent. So, first things first, what kind of comics do you read? Well, I read generally anything. I'm more of like a, kind of just try to get all the mediums, you know, comics, manga, anime, anything really, anything like animated to all the MCU stuff, even the DC stuff. I kind of like everything, but because I like mm. everything, can't really focus on one specific thing and dive into one specific thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. That's, yeah. I think that's kind of why I ended up here. Yeah, so <laughs> it ends up me being more casual, but I still, I still like love each individual like medium in their respective right. Excellent. Yep. Okay, so then uh, I guess how did you start reading comics, or how did you, if you could think back? When I think back on it, like my first like comic, I, I don't think my I, I didn't really have my first comic till I was like in high school, but the first like. Mm. I had my first manga before, even before that, because a little background, like, I actually grew up in Japan, as you know, and, yeah. like, over there, it's kind of everywhere, I mean, <laughs> so it was yeah. kind of like, it, it was something I didn't really pay attention to until I came over to the States in middle school, and I noticed people were, like, reading it and stuff, and there's even, like, uh, in SoCal, there's, like, a, there's a Japanese, like, export store or import store here, and, like, they have everything there. And I walked into the little library and I picked up a little like pack of Naruto <laughs> manga. <laughs> like, yeah, there yeah. you go. And had that on the shelf and I kept reading that. And then from there, you know, like Toonami and, and watching on TV and seeing all my friends. And then we would goof around like running with our arms behind our backs. And that's really where it picked up. Imitating Naruto's. Yep, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a way to do it. That's a good pastime, you know, during PE yeah. time. Got to run mm -hmm. the lap anyway. Might as well have fun. Like, <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, I think uh, that probably would have been elementary school the last time I was actively doing that. No, that's not true. I was <laughs> I was doing the Dragon Ball Z thing in middle school. I'm sure. I'm sure I was. Ah, uh, youth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know, at least for me and like between my group of friends, it's like it's like a given. It's like <laughs> we just goof off and have fun and like and and I don't know, it's not and it's not real like taboo or anything, but yeah. Mm. This is a way to have fun, I guess. So m more recently, we sort of connected, reconnected, I guess, about Hero Academia. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, how, how it came to be. Like, I guess one of us brought it up and then we kind of just went off. <laughs> and we, we've been Probably. talking about it back and forth at least every day, every week, you know? Yeah. And it's, I don't know, it, like at least it was around this time last year because I was in the middle of taking summer classes and... I had asked my friends, is there anything good out lately that I should be paying attention to? Because around that time, I wasn't really doing, I wasn't watching anything. I wasn't keeping up with anything. And they were in the middle of talking about anime. And I was like, I want to jump in this too. And like, there was like four of us and all three of them were like, oh yeah, just look up My Hero Academia. Like, it's really good. And we should, we need another person so we can all talk about it. <laughs> like, go watch it now. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then the next day, I, I think I caught up completely. <laughs> like the next two days or something like that. Fantastic. Yeah. I had like that good huh i had like four four hour classes because it was summer school and it was like in five Ugh. weeks and like mm. as soon as i got back from class i just picked it up and started watching it on uh crunch roll and it just it was over before i knew it and i was like what the heck did i just watch <laughs> oh man so so it was last summer were they done with the second season at that no point? i think or... they're in the middle of, of season two okay because uh, right. I, I remember i had to wait for a couple episodes and then we immediately like jump straight into the manga and then all of us were talking about it and we we're all like me, me and my friends were talking about it and how much we loved it and how 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 different it was stuff like that 
and then hmm. just recently talked to you about it and we've been talking about it nonstop. <laughs> well it's nice to have people to bounce not bounce ideas off of but to reflect on it with and that's something i personally really like about serialization is the the ongoing discussion uh oh, of yeah. you know what what's what's happening what's what happening? just happened i need to i need to express these feelings that i have about <laughs> i need a, someone to to confirm these feelings <laughs> yeah need someone to tell me you know next week's gonna be even better <laughs> what's happening now yeah that's what i like about serialization too because there's always that next week to look forward to and then of course you gotta wait and then you talk to your friends and you bounce ideas oh no this is gonna happen no no this, like, this character is more like this this is gonna happen mm. you know ongoing discussion yeah like it's not like a competition necessarily but like you your understanding of the character generally or you feel you uh feels like you have a certain understanding of the character and so you want to like okay you know based on what i've experienced or or how i think these characters are Mm -hmm. this is what might happen yeah yeah yeah. you feel more strongly towards a certain certain direction i guess Mm mm-hmm and then the validation when you're totally right because all of your friends are just wrong. You... <laughs> no, I mean, it's another way to, to look at it, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we, but we, that's we part, of, that that's part of the discourse. <laughs> nah, nah, that, I'm just being silly. But is there uh, is there something about Hero Academia that strikes you like because it seems like you got sucked in really well, like just it just pulled you in. Yeah, I I don't know. It's something something lately where i'll just jump right into something and it'll mm. completely consume me especially if mm. it, if i get hooked right away and like i'm that way with with almost everything i guess but i don't know there's something different about it something because i've always i've always liked superheroes in general and in like the western sense of superheroes right you get these like you got spandex you got outfits stuff like that but mm. then i really like i don't know I, like that summer i was really looking for something to watch spe- specifically anime and mm-hmm. all my friends were on that, and I guess I found it more as like a like superheroes, cool anime, cool. I can use this to as another bonding experience with my friends. So I just jumped right in, and since they were already all cut up, I was like, I, I want to get in on this too. Like it sounded really fun, so I just went for it. And then yeah, <laughs> and we've been talking about it ever since. We've been we've been hyped up for it, especially now that season three just started, picked up. Yeah, and yeah. then I got my sisters into it, and they're watching too. <laughs> That's good. See, you, you, you're succeeding. You're doing much better than I am on that front, and I'm still mad. Well, like, I guess I, I'll consider myself half succeeded because it's only one of my sisters. But oh, I mean, right. we're both like super into it. We, actually, she was trying to get me to watch season three because I haven't started season three. Yet. I've been trying to focus oh. on school. And, yeah. Okay. All right. And I've, I've been telling her like, I already, I'm already caught up. Like, I know what's gonna happen, but I haven't watched it, so I, I don't really know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you gotta see it. Like, see, it's nice. It's like it's been long enough for me, at least. Uh, that uh, I, don't, I don't know what point. Maybe this was two years ago in the manga, like where where it is now. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe I might have the schedule like the timing wrong. But experiencing it again like this and this in this presented this way has kind of it's been great. Right? Like, yeah, like like I know things. Certain things are gonna happen a certain way. You know, I remember certain mm-hmm. key events that are gonna happen. But let's see the most recently, like two weeks ago, was my hero. Like that episode. Mm-hmm. Um, since we're in the training camp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, then... I think that was the one we were watching. And oh yeah, and she oh. she looked at me and she was like, "Who is this character? Like, why why are they showing?" And I was like, "Oh, you're gonna see." Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But it was still mm-hmm. kind of like refreshing and new because at that point. I, I kind of didn't remember it because you know like that's been like weeks ago months ago or whatever mm-hmm. for me at least and it, it kind of like kind of gets blurry and then seeing it again it all comes back to you and it's just like whoa I don't, I don't and then you don't remember certain things happening like whoa like i remember the the forest beasts or, or whatever were coming out and i was oh, like yeah. oh this is cool and i don't remember this like I barely remembered anything about the training arc in the very beginning because yeah most of that stuff gets pretty tense towards the end of that arc so yeah mm-hmm. Gosh, yeah, we can. I mean, if you if you want to talk, spo- I don't mind talking spoilers. I just would just have to put the tag on there if you if you um, if you want to discuss in detail. That's fine. I mean, we can. <laughs> but, if you'd like to, um, I, I mean, we could talk more about like I have this idea in my head, like because I re- haven't really had much experience in anime and manga as much. Hmm. Uh, it's just been kind of a, a growing interest because I feel like I should. Does that does that make sense? So I wanted to touch on that and speak more of that. Oh sure, I know yeah, of course. We could probably do a Boku Boku no Hero episode like later. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you get dibs. You get dibs <laughs> that'd be it. awesome. But uh, that's your uh, that's your. 
just since that's sort of a, a revived and renewed interest in, but yeah. in our daily, in our, our weekly lives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good way for us to connect. Like I've been saying, like been using it as kind of a bonding tool. Like I, I bond between me and my sister. I bond between me and my friends. And then lately with you, because I haven't, yeah. I haven't, been, I haven't talked to you as much since you visited. Like I think two years ago or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what? We didn't know. I'm gonna get a little bit personal, but not too personal here. We didn't know we were going to your house. Oh really? Yeah. Like, uh, I think Pops probably told us that we were gonna go, uh, just drop by Uncle Uncle's place mm-hmm. for a little bit mm-hmm. for for I think it was Thanksgiving, right? Some, uh, some, so we dropped around then, yeah. So we dropped by thinking, okay, you know, we're, we're just gonna be here for a little bit because I was gonna make dinner. I was like really excited to make this dinner thing. And then we were there and then we went to your place and I was like, I guess I'm not making dinner. I was like really, <laughs> I was actually like steamed a little bit. Like, yeah. I, mean, I was happy to see you guys, of course, because it's been a while. Yeah, but I was we, like, we were happy to see you guys too. But it was just like the same thing on our end because my mom, I think she was just telling us, oh yeah, they're, they're coming over to visit. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I wasn't yeah. really prepared. But yeah. it kind of opened it for it to happen anyways because we got a chance to catch up and stuff. And Yeah, yeah. Through the magic of the internet and uh, a <laughs> weekly discussion about here academia now we can have this we can have conversations over <laughs> yeah and beyond the well cause, i mean i guess this isn't fair but like there's a bit of when you're keeping up with online relationships the sort of default is how are things how are you how was it how going is this how is that yeah and then you fall into the same trap of having the same repeated answers same kind of going through the same things and kind of mm-hmm. kind of gets mellowed out and too yeah too i don't know it's, it becomes generic. a thing. <laughs> yeah generic yeah. yeah you get gas you get generic answer syndrome and then you stop talking yeah and then it, it gets it gets kind of boring yeah, i don't, I don't want to <laughs> say i don't really want to say boring because like when you're having conversations with people like that it's like these are people you know and love and you don't want to have conversations that are boring you want to have things that are memorable mm-hmm. right yeah and then going back to all this it's Again, it's like a tool for me to use it as a bonding experience. Like me and my sister, yeah. we get we get really hype <laughs> watching all Good. this stuff. And See? I remember I was really pushing her to because we had blazed through season one and then like halfway mm. through season two, but then she got busy again with with school, and right. she kind of put it on hold. And I was telling her, "Oh, you gotta you gotta catch up. You gotta you gotta like season three is coming out. You gotta you gotta watch. You gotta figure out what happens. You're so close." And then. Me and my friends are also the same way, and then we all catch up together that way. But and then we all have these like super. Oh no, this hero is better. Oh no, this. Then again, those conversations become way more memorable. Memorable. They they stick out, and it's like it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think what I need to do is I need to just sit sit my sister down, and we're gonna just watch it. And then... <laughs> you know, you told me that, and I was honestly super surprised. Like she hasn't watched it at all. Like. <laughs> I, I felt mean, I was I felt like I was behind. I know. And then she's she she had like a false start earlier this year. Yeah, Joe, if you're listening to this, we're talking smack right now <laughs> and you deserve it a little bit and I deserve it a little bit too because I still haven't watched Attack on Titan. But um It's okay. I haven't I, either. So, we're okay, in the same good. Boat there. maybe we'll make <laughs> we'll make it a thing. Uh, but but I've been telling I've been telling I've been telling her for a while. So, it's like well, what ends up happening is I try to keep up with everything all the time. And so I end up having to be like, well, you know, whatever I'm feeling most strongly about, mm-hmm. like, that's what I'll push. And I've sort of gone back and forth on what's been because everything uh, things I've been keeping up with, to be fair, I've been pretty good. And I, I think we'll, we'll get into what those are later because I think there's a question about it. But <laughs> I end up changing my priorities a little bit based on what's current or what's like hot right now. And right. unfortunately, everything's hot right now. Like and it becomes a little overwhelming. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, I feel yeah. it. I feel it. I understand. I think an- another thing is like I started this because I do that too much, and I'm sort of talking at people. Uh, but here we're this is an attempt at a, a discussion, a focused discussion with somebody, or somewhat focused. Somewhat so. focused. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hmm. I mean, kind of works. You can play off of that, you know, play off mm-hmm. of your natural instinct to to want to talk about it, you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, you brought up Attack on Titan too, and I was gonna say I haven't really binged another show like this, hmm. like, but more recently I I did with Attack on Titan, but it oh. kind of my relationship with Attack on Titan kind of was different because at that time when I picked it up, I think the show the anime just finished, and then mm-hmm. they were struggling to keep up with it because the manga was at the same point, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. And then for me, for it being 
exactly at the same point. Nothing for me to catch. Like, my interest kind of died off. This is around, when was it? Like, two, 2014, 2015? Like, everyone was mm. loving that show. Me and my friends That's loved true. that show. I was seeing, like, I was seeing the, the um, what is it? The, the symbol? Like, people with the jackets and the, the, the insignia on it. And I was like, man, mm. every like everyone around here really loves <laughs> Attack on Titan. Yeah. It's crazy to me, like, how popular, like, I, not, 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 like, crazy, like, oh, I don't believe it, but it, it, uh, I, I had, this is kind of snobby, I guess, but <laughs> I, I'd, I'd read it a while, mm-hmm. a while back, maybe, like, a year or so before the anime started, right? and I liked what I'd read, it looked kind of funky, and it was a pretty weird kind of story, um, and I'd caught up to it, um, I think about where season one ends, maybe. Okay. Uh, and then when it took off like i maybe watched like the first few episodes and i just didn't like i I don't know i don't know what it was maybe it was knowing or just i I didn't feel compelled to to watch it but i was also like kind of amazed as seeing it grow right yeah like people were really into it i was like i I get why people are into it i'm just surprised it was way more popular than than i expected than like than i've seen normally right Mm mm-hmm Mm-hmm. And it's just it was it was crazy. It was, it was really yeah. crazy because, at least in my circles, it's kind of common to be like, "Oh yeah, I like anime, I like manga." But like with Attack on Titan, it was like next level. Like you were, I was seeing it everywhere. People had like key change. People they had like everything, and mm-hmm. I, I'd never seen so much like I guess you could say like fan pride. Like yeah, over 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 anime at least. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I can go into it more because like growing up in my circles it was commonplace right i didn't really Mm -hmm. it wasn't as shocking but then as you get older you kind of see more people and you see their interests and it's it's out it's outside of a a box that you kind of place them in like this this person would kind of like this like that and then even more so now at least lately i've been seeing it become more mainstream mainstream and like not as taboo Uh, i don't know I, i won't i personally don't see it as taboo or anything like that because it's just another like it's another medium. It's another style, right? Mm-hmm. Some people like this genre of music. Some people like that genre of music. Yeah, and it's not too, too shell shocking, too, too obscure. Right. Yeah, but I don't know. Seeing something like that was kind of it's kind of contradictory because like you expect people to be to not like this, to not like that, and it kind of blows your mind to see it break down those borders. I guess. Yeah, I think, and I think Attack on Titan in particular has a really uh, how do I say this like the. <laughs> Uh, not to be too exclusive here, but there's a sort of normie versus otaku perspective sometimes when it comes to anime yeah. and manga. Yeah. And uh, Attack on Titan is a show that definitely all appealed to the normies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, I mean, like the the violence and horror aspects of it, right. and then a little bit of, um, I guess not quite superhero, but the supernatural elements. Supernatural, like the fantasy elements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's sort of vaguely steampunk and vaguely medieval at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So there's a lot. There's a lot that would be appealing that it makes sense. And the uh, yeah, yeah. And just sort of, I think the the bizarre look of 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 a titan and how they're how horrible, uh, frightening. I guess is a better way to describe it. Was kinda, it was kind of different than what you expect yeah. to see in an anime, which I mean, mm-hmm. isn't too bad because. Again, it kind of brought other people in to see this medium is also about storytelling. This medium tells stories, but it's a, it's kind of fantasy. Do you think you'll like it? And it's not as... Because, I mean, you kind of see some kind of tropes sometimes, especially mm. in anime, that kind of turn people away from it. Yeah. Anime manga, I guess, you know? Yeah. Because, like, my, I, like, I was just talking to a friend, I think, last week or two weeks ago, and he was trying to get another friend into watching a... I don't remember if it was a show or, like, a movie or something. It was, like, a... An anime, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was it was my friend's girlfriend, but she, like she couldn't really get into it because she was like he was he was saying oh she he, she couldn't get past you know this because uh this and that and I was like what are you talking about? And he was like well you know sometimes you see a little bit too much skin or it's a little bit like steamy. Oh the fan service. Yeah, and then he's like yeah it's that's a hard sell. Like yeah, if, if there are people if people aren't like receptive to it. Yeah, like, but then it's, between me and I, him I we were just like oh that's anime stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. like. We see that all the time, especially like I mean, at least when we were in middle school, right? You see, you saw like Naruto, oh, and yeah. then mm-hmm. he does his uh, jitsu. <laughs> he becomes like a, yeah, he, he like yeah. ages like five years, or whatever. Becomes like this eighteen year old girl. <laughs> it's like what the yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't. I feel like that's a whole other discussion. Yeah, like, that's a that's a big big other discussion, especially especially with like food wars. <laughs> yeah, a big actually, it's, it is a strange one, and I'm I'm honestly kind of amazed that because uh, I keep up with that one, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, my wife does too. Or you know, we watch it together every week, pretty much, mm-hmm. and I I think. Uh, it's kind of tricky because it's like it is, you know, it is what it is. But I really like cooking, cooking battles and sort of the food element. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know. me too. You know, I love the food yeah. element and things. Like <laughs> that's what brought me into it. But like when I was mm-hmm. having a discussion with my friends, like that yeah. the same situation, right? I was asking them what should I watch, mm-hmm. and that time they recommended me to watch Food Wars. But yeah. <laughs> they all had an extra tag that was like, make sure when you watch it, you're by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, because especially that first that. episode, I mean, it could turn people away, but yeah, to me, it wasn't too bad. I actually, yeah. Re- I yeah. actually really enjoyed it because I mean, that show made me hungry, man. <laughs> it made yeah, me, really made me want to try like recipes. And I know people have made recipes, right? And they mm-hmm. tried to follow along with what the show's made. Yeah, there's one I still want to do the kar- karage one that they did, and I think it's still in season one, maybe. <laughs> but uh, it's probably I, I'm I'm not gonna say this right, but it's like karage that's wrapped in like a bonzio bonzio i'm already hungry <laughs> yeah me too. Now, now i'm like questioning <laughs> should i have like eaten before the show <laughs> maybe yeah but yeah i mean it, it's it's hard it's hard and, and um i'm amazed that she's able to deal with it but i feel like she's a long time anime fan too mm-hmm. like she just like you know she she's she understands that this sort of thing is just how it is like i i get that you know it'd be easier to sell if it wasn't there and then s- um the treatment of some of the characters is it's like it's not it's not very it's not good and it it's definitely a minus point in terms of uh presenting it to people that aren't sort of used to it air quotes aren't, used like, to it accumulated to expecting to see it right yeah um i mean there's a whole bunch of other things this is this is a pretty nasty can of worms to get into yeah yeah <laughs> um but i feel like it's mm, as long as you don't go too far with it, I guess. Even though the sort of the point of it is to to the the food is so amazing that yeah, you you bring this happens. analogy right, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I will say that I would like to eat food that um would would have me have crazy reactions to it, like thinking that I'm at a theme park based on cabbage, <laughs> like just that that was what was I think Yakitate Japan was like the first time I saw that, and I was so enchanted by it that this isn't quite the same thing but i do definitely favor when they do uh that kind of ridiculous one versus the standard reaction but I mean, anyway when it's super ridiculous it's kind of fun <laughs> you know what i mean yeah yeah like, it's true because you'll have you can have a standard reaction i mean at least the analogy i'm drawing now is like like physical comedy because growing mm-hmm. up i really love like jim carrey and he's like over the top you know what i mean like jim carrey yeah. robin williams their characters are like over the top and and it pulls like a certain reaction out of you and mm-hmm. sometimes when you kind of play it down, I guess it's not not the same. Mm-hmm. Like you, you can definitely have like c- certain styles of like comedy or, or whatever, right? There's certain levels of enjoyment, I guess you can say. Yeah, especially in the moment. So I mean, yeah, and there's there's something extremely satisfying about defeating an enemy with a meal. Because it's also like a thing that's really appealing about it to me is sort of defeating the upper class with lower class food. Yeah, or, you know, like yeah, because he. The main character is like he's come he comes from like a, a different social status right yeah mm-hmm. and then especially players uh, we were talking about this like just before <laughs> like uh beating down like people who think they're they're better than you right yeah and, and it's a it's a it's a cooking show like it's a it's a show about making food but you bring in these like conflicting characters who battle at, battle it out by by cooking food <laughs> yeah and I think the idea of um, certain food being lower class or, or I guess, ingredients, like making use of ingredients that wouldn't necessarily be considered haute cuisine uh, and and making that into something that really cool gourmet. And I mean, they get kind of silly with it. Like, I think in the recent one, they're like, Cajun spices, what's that? And I was like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love it. I love the show so much. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But... I mean, when they first brought the spice, the spices into the show, they had that one character who was all about spices. Mm-hmm. And like it was super like over the top, but I mean, you you love it regardless. Oh yeah, yeah. They're trying to cook. They're trying to cook bear in the in the new in the one. The new ones. Wow, that's watching. yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a, yeah, it's it's interesting. I like it a lot. I I really like it. I mean, yeah, 
you kind of run with it when everything's kind of over the top and you have over the top characters with their special specialties and stuff like that. But like, yeah, you kind of it's super enjoyable. Yeah. And then uh, I think recently in the manga, somebody uh, won with a four cheese pizza, <laughs> <laughs> which is like whole, it's a whole new thing, too. Yeah, like, it's it's and it's like a four cheese pizza. Like, this is your gourmet. And I'm like, OK, you know, I don't know how common different cheeses are for um, all right whatever yeah, well, like, we're jumping into like different <laughs> different we're, we're opening up different it's a tree it's a tree yeah so is there anything else that you're currently following or is that um uh like anything in general like uh like comic well yeah movies, comic um, comic anime whatever like. um right now i mean the biggest thing now because i mean infinity war just came out yeah so that's true i've actually been trying to get people to catch up because hmm. actually my best friend he he's really like he'll watch the movies right he'll watch the mcu movies but they're, he's mm-hmm. really spotty and between a handful of us we've been loaning him like our our like netflix watch this watch this we've been loaning him like my other friend just loaned him amazon prime because he he had to watch thor ragnar he, he hasn't watched any of the thors but oh we were trying to hmm. fill him in so he could watch infinity war with our group of friends right and like I mean, yeah, I've been catching up with MCU and catching other people up with MCU, and that's that's a whole other thing too. Because I mean, movies are kind of more, I guess, mainstream. But like, you bring yeah, way more. Yeah, (laughs) but you bring in these comic book characters, and like, especially with Infinity War, I was seeing like different, way more types of people. Like, I remember sitting in that line, and I was looking through the group, and like, it was just, it was for (laughs) a better or worse word, normal. I, I don't know it was just <laughs> do you know what i mean like yeah was, the sort of non non turbo nerd non yeah like my sister comic book shop crowd right? at the same like, theater my sister a couple years back for the doctor who premiere right they they had the movie or they had the uh, first episode there and uh-huh. doctor was like usually like an hour long i don't remember i haven't kept up with it yeah right mm-hmm. but with her because it was such like a niche thing there's people like dressed up and people were in costume and it wasn't like a huge group, but when we went to go watch Infinity War, like it, it was just like standing in line for a normal movie. And then you're bringing all these crazy characters and and storylines to like to everyone, and it was kind of cool to see that, and kind of cool to see like it's not just a, a niche group of people. You could a lot of different kinds of people can relate to these stories. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that um, it making the mainstream. I mean, obviously, it's good for money, but like, yeah. <laughs> I think that making it really accessible to people this way, mm-hmm. accessible, uh, spacing it out, hyping it up because it's months apart. Uh, I feel like they've very, very much succeeded on that front. And you could argue, I guess, the quality of this or that on on certain movies, but I mean, the fact is that they've done sort of done the legwork to get to this point, and <laughs> now people have to have this catch-up list like you said like you have (laughs) exactly like we had to we had to order the movies like okay you need to watch guardians guardians 2 and thor 3 thor ragnarok just so you can understand what's happening in infinity war because he was just about to Mm -hmm. to jump into the theater with us and we're like no man you're gonna you're gonna be completely lost (laughs) i you know what i wonder about that like how how well it communicates like to somebody who's never seen any of them i think that would be a really interesting like to be honest, I feel to like they wouldn't somebody. be too lost. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because mm-hmm. for the most part, it's it's a story about one single character, but then you see yeah. sprinklings of everyone that you've seen for the past ten years. You know, mm-hmm. and then you can see where their storylines converge. But for yeah, for catching him up, we wanted him to to be in the know. Because <laughs> yeah, I yeah. feel you. Yeah, if you if you could, then you ought to. Yeah, because um, we didn't want to leave him out. Because like. I remember me and my sister sitting in the theater and we were like freaking out at certain parts. And I remember everyone was freaking out at certain parts. There was this, there was this lady in the very front who was very audible at everything. She would, oh, oh no. Gosh. And it was great. <laughs> though. Like everyone in the audience loved it. And having everyone yeah. like react at the same time. And like me and my sister were like elbowing each other while we were sitting in the seats. It, it was awesome. And yeah. then to not, to be there and feel completely lost, I feel like that would just not be a great experience. Yeah. And so we had to, we had to catch them up. <laughs> Right. And I, I didn't get to say this one, I think, on the, the spoiler pod, um, which uh, I mean, we don't need to do that now. But there's a fight that happens uh, when so certain characters are in space mm-hmm. 
and uh, somebody does basically like. Uh, uh, somebody basically makes a bunch of uh, shadow clones, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I lean, I lean over to my wife, and I was like, "This movie's anime as <laughs> hell, like, <laughs> <laughs> like throwing lasers at each other, doing sorts, all sorts of crazy, like reality warping stuff, mm-hmm. and then shadow clones. What up? Bringing the kagebunshin no jutsu in here, like." <laughs> <laughs> bringing it back man <laughs> yeah it's a classic i still technique. need to see it i still need to see it again i think like i want to see it again uh knowing what i already know just to enjoy it mm-hmm. i think that in itself is also a different experience because i yeah i almost watched it twice to see it with my friends because a couple of them had, hadn't seen it and we were all going to watch it together as we usually do because we usually watch a bunch of marvel movies together but mm-hmm. then me and my sister because it's become more of a thing for me and my family to just go watch it on premiere day or premiere night or premiere weekend, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I almost I almost watched it twice, but going to that first one, it's a completely different experience. And then hyping it up for this for the second viewing, even though I didn't go, like the days before it, I was like, I was analyzing stuff and thinking, and then I was and then also bringing my friend up to to we were trying to see how everything like converged from a from a different perspective, mm-hmm. and that was also pretty cool because we were like, oh, thinking Guardians, this like. Would you be super lost watching a Marvel mo- uh, MCU movie if you hadn't watched Guardians? Because Guardians and like Thor three, it's all like more space stuff, like oh yeah, out of world it's very stuff. cosmic. Yeah, very cosmic. Mm-hmm. As yeah. compared to like Phase one, Phase two movies. Yeah, if if all of your it's one thing if somebody went in with zero experience because it's like oh, okay they're doing space but right. if you came in with only earth as your experience yeah then it must be like my best friend he really only, only watch phase one phase two stuff and then phase three kind of kind of fell off um hmm. so then walk, walking into infinity war would have been completely like whoa <laughs> yeah 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 well that that was a heck of a movie uh, <laughs> it was a just oof. i remember that that lady I, I was talking about when the movie mm-hmm. ended and it like faded to black and um, the credits started rolling. She she just went, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> she just went no, and the whole theater oh, yeah. could just like felt felt it with her. Like yeah, yeah. Like you gotta be kidding me. We need more. We need part two already. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, less than a year. Just gotta count it down. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Gotta count our days. Uh huh. I'm already counting down too many things. Yeah. Uh, do you want to you wanna tackle these uh, Twitter questions? Let's go for it. Yeah. All right. So uh, first one comes from the Snick Man, friend of the show. And he writes, comics and manga, huh? Thoughts in the Marvel Mangaverse? It just got a complete trade reprinting the other month for some insane reason. Uh, so I've only kind of looked at some of these, uh, mm-hmm. even, even though I think at the time when they were pushing it, which is sort of it made sense like manga mm-hmm. was sort of on the rise at right. the point that they think that they were printing it out i I'm, i was like ah, i don't, I don't know like, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. isn't this isn't really my speed here i don't yeah. know about this i mean i looked it up earlier today because when the time it was coming out like i said this was just before the time i just gotten into all these different mediums of comics and manga and everything but mm-hmm. what a quince i mean we were just talking about these two different things and here they are kind of com- converge in their own in their own different way you know what i mean like it, it's it's super interesting right because you have yeah you have a different art style you have a different kind of i guess you, you combine these two mediums from two two different sides of of the of the globe and they come together to form a different perspective and it's super cool it's super interesting yeah i wish i had i had seen it earlier but i mean if I were to seen it when I was super young, I don't think I would have understood <laughs> all these different characters and everything. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, it looks super cool. I wish there was more, because from what I've looked up, there it it was super short. Right? It was only like a couple of years. Yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I don't know how sales did for them on that on that front, and I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't go and look it up. I'm just sort of going off of what I remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, the most that I think the most that I read, I had one of those like Spider-Man. Uh, what do you call them? Encyclopedia books. Oh and I yeah, think they I remember touched seeing on... that. I remember seeing that actually yeah. and sparking like, I still a have ton it. of yeah. my interest. I remember seeing yeah. that it was like a thick encyclopedia book, and you also had like the Spider-Man like figure, and, and yeah. that yeah. that piqued my interest. And even today, researching, uh, looking looking up that uh, the 
Marvel manga and stuff. There's even like a, a retelling of Spider-Man as if he were on from Japan, right? You know, there's actually a few of those. Yeah. Uh, I think there's at least three. I'm going to get this wrong, but so I, whatever. Apologize That's fine. For but th- no, so, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Japanese Spider-Man. There's at least three. Yeah. Um, so from my understanding, that one, there's like the manga versus Spider-Man. There is a, there is a Spider-Man manga. Like it's just like a totally different dude. Like it's not even close to Peter Parker or whatever. Because <laughs> uh, the manga verse one is Peter Parker-ish. Like produced in america and he's kind of one of those like i think i think maybe i'm getting it wrong but then but then there's also the live action japanese spider-man yeah which that, is that a everyone whole kind of, other thing <laughs> everyone kind of takes snippets of and posts everywhere <laughs> yeah i mean uh, to get to i like... need to sit down and watch it sometime because that that is a that is historical yeah that is important it's gonna go down but... in history <laughs> it's pretty yeah. i mean it's pretty cool like i mean yeah. in relation to this question like i i, I kind of like it i like I wish there was hmm. more of it. I wish I would have seen it earlier. Like I like the idea, oh. like the idea of bringing uh, these characters that you know, and then having a certain perspective. You have a certain idea of them in your head, right? You, you kind of envision, like I guess we're talking about Spider Man, right? You can yeah. envision Spider Man as like a super young kid, doesn't, but he's trying to be be a hero. He's trying to try his best and try to use his powers for good, right? Yeah. And you have a certain idea of him doing it a certain way. And then yeah. you bring in, bring in a different art style. You bring in a different. It's kind of refreshing, and you, and I love to see, I love to see more of these characters that we already know and love. So to see more, to to have to hear news of more reprinting, is kind of awesome, right? Because when you love characters, you kind of want to jump, jump into them, and you kind of want to just take it all in. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. Uh, I think I think I'd have to give it like a few, a, a, a little bit. Just like there's something really weird about what, um, what like Marvel and other Western productions thought was anime at the time. Like, yeah, because this is like early two thousands, right? Yeah, 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 and it's like it's pretty weird. Like at everybody, like, it's the, the the thing that that strikes me is that almost everybody has like the bishojo eyes, like the Super real big. pretty. I mean, yeah. I used to draw eyes like that too, because I was like, yeah, in an anime and manga too. But like, yeah. I guess that's what everyone thought it was. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's kind of interesting right. to see it from that point, and then you see these characters are like, this is this is this character, this is this is X is Y. You know what I mean? Yeah. But right. I, I I don't know. I personally i i like to, I'd like to see more of it because it's hmm. it's a different perspective and it's kind of interesting. Yeah. To me. Maybe with a more sort of informed take on what uh, maybe a manga style approach would be right. a good way to go. And I think I know that Marvel has a pretty big presence mm-hmm. in, in Japan, mm-hmm. too. Like, I know that. Um, well, I just know that I, we know, that, I guess, that there are fans of, of this thing. Like, it, it does really well. Superheroes are big. It's like so I it would surprise me. It would be interesting to see a uh, maybe maybe even like um like Japan produced marvel manga i think that would be interesting right right but i don't know i guess do you think it, it tips into the into the it kind of gets into this area of like of disrespect because it's like you're taking something from like another country and they they know how it should be done and then because you know they know it's supposed to be a certain way and you kind of twist it, it, it people get offended right because like, like with food right mm. people go oh this isn't a philly cheesesteak oh this isn't deep dish pizza pizza should be there. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah and, right. but when you bring it to like a certain certain like storytelling perspective people mm-hmm. can also get frustrated in that way yeah um i think it's it's it is odd uh we're getting into sort of dangerous territory here with <laughs> yeah. the kind of took it uh, a different direction yeah but uh i think that i, I get i kind of get what you mean with that where, where it's um sort of dancing around the word here but Maybe maybe it was the fact or the idea is that w- back then what they thought would be appealing is to make it look like the stuff. Right. Uh, and then sort of take the the larger ideas of, oh, you know, it'll be a giant robot or it'll be we'll make this character look more anime-ish and we'll change some things. Like, I don't I, I don't know. It, it's really weird to see the watcher with big shoujo eyes. Like, I just <laughs> I'm like, it's like, OK, this is. <laughs> 
I, I don't know that in manga they would have done that with right. the Watcher. I feel like they could have they, they, they could have this... kept certain aspects the same. Other than yeah, just and I'm... two big old eyes. Yeah, I feel like I'm dunking maybe a little bit too hard on this. Like I don't want to be like I don't want to be too mean. Yeah, I don't want to be too mean about it. But it feels like uh, that they it, it looks at, at first glance like they took the how to draw manga art which little might art be. books I'm not and, sure. and then they applied it to right yeah like it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of variation but once once again not enough experience and this is just sort of at a glance i guess but, i mean whew. it kind of works with that with what i was saying because like I'd, I'd love to see mm. it but then also with what you were saying i'd love to see it more but also become more developed right yeah yeah right yeah like let's see it done as manga is like how they present it that would be really neat Mm -hmm. i think that's really cool yeah because one of my favorite things for sure is seeing like japanese artists do western heroes i think that's like awesome yeah um like we've seen um murata sensei the artist for one punch man Mm -hmm. draw spider-man a bunch i have that poster (laughs) in a frame because it's beautiful i love stuff like that because like there's endless videos you can see of of people drawing certain characters in different styles Mm -hmm. which is also super awesome Mm-hmm. and it it just again like you see their interpretation of a certain character and it's you become really interested and entranced yeah so that yeah if we see it that way i think i'd be down but, mm-hmm. yeah, i don't know about the, as it was <laughs> <laughs> the early yeah. 2000s versions yeah oof so our next question comes from liana banana she says hi kuyas <laughs> <laughs> she greets us hello <laughs> thanks for tuning in what are your thoughts concerning the stigma that manga and anime isn't considered real or legitimate entertainment? Do you think this stems from a Western dominated industry and can't wait for this episode to come out? Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> um, but uh, my, I, I just, I haven't encountered that a whole lot. I feel like most people are just kind of like, well, what is anime? I don't know about this. Stuff. Right. Uh, I just, as an adult, I haven't seen this as much as I did in maybe college, but mostly in high school. Like, but even right. less because high school in high school it was really really big with the with the people I was hanging out with. Do you think it's a a, a thing of the times thing? Like, as people get maybe. older, maybe. it could be. I mean, at the time I had in high school, I was definitely rejecting comics uh, writ large. Like, I wasn't interested at the time, and right. even then, I was like, well. Naruto's where it's at and Bleach is where it's at. <laughs> right. Forget about that Dragon Ball stuff. But look at this. 2018, you know, they had like I don't remember where this is like Mexico City or something. Like I'm, I'm just somewhere in Mexico they like had the entire like city or or like a, a block watching the end of that Dragon Ball Super. Like that's that's oh, amazing. Oh yeah, that that video was insane. Like yeah. It was and, it was packed too and it was on like huge projectors and everyone was going nuts yeah so i feel like this this if anybody's really walking around with this thought in their head and they like any other kind of form of entertainment in the form of like some kind of fiction Mm. uh as as uh television or movies or even books it's like i don't that why why be closed-minded why be so yeah i mean restrict like this i know for for at least like me and my sister we've had different we our perspective is kind of biased. I, I don't know because we've seen this all over the place, and hmm. and it's it's like uh, like at least we've seen like anime and manga all over the place, and and it's to us it's like yeah we're we're all for it because we've seen it ever since we were like young. But I know maybe from other people's perspective it's kind of different, right? Because hmm. I have a cousin who's raised here. And me and my sisters have been raised in different places, right? Because we're we come from a, like a military background so we moved around a lot right mm-hmm. but our cousin he's been he's grown up and lived over on the east coast of the, of the u.s his entire life and right. to him maybe the, like it's a perspective issue because i remember he visited us and we were hosting him for for i think like a a, a week or something and mm-hmm. he was like asking us to take him to like a a comic store or a manga store because he 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 didn't understand what it was like, and he wanted to see like certain certain types of people. Y- do you know what I mean? And okay. he definitely had that like stigma with him. But for for me and my sisters, we were kind of like I don't I don't know. Because in my circles and her circles, like we all kind of watch and understand manga and anime, and 
we don't really we're not as bigoted it's, you know what i mean yeah it's it's not it's not unusual to you yeah like you're, you're you're accustomed to to having it as a i mean it's like as early as 1998 like pokemon was in vogue right 97 <laughs> yeah, 98 yeah, yeah. like it was a storm and if you know if anybody's denying that that's anime then they're just being silly but like that and then dragon ball z taking it in like the early you know um when i was really paying attention it might have been 2000 2001 and then wanting to find more more stuff like that afterwards mm-hmm. so it was like it's it's already found or embedded in, in in mainstream culture and so if anybody's still holding this perspective it doesn't it just seems silly yeah i definitely me. think like, it's been changing over time but mm-hmm. from where it comes from i'm, I'm not sure yeah. because and maybe it's just like it's something that you're unfamiliar with and then you kind of shy away from it you know mm-hmm. but then it yeah. take into another level where you're kind of more so aggressive towards it yeah yeah because right i mean i haven't seen it as much growing up except for that a couple of that um of experiences like that because at least here in, around socal and around me and my friends i know a tons of people who watch anime and manga and it's just it's normal it's just it's just what yeah. you see but it's definitely been growing like the audience who are interested is definitely growing so yeah. I think what comes with that is people are becoming more familiar and they're not as shy. They're not as, they don't bring the, the, the kind of, uh, they don't bring that stigma with them. Yeah, I think so. I think normalizing it via ease of access is a really big thing too. Right, right. L- sort of legitimate streaming services. And um, we crank up the PS4 and we, that's where we're watching our Crunchyroll stuff. It's real easy to, <laughs> you know, t- tune in. Yeah. Um. It's not like a certain time of day after ten up ten ten p.m. or midnight that a specific channel is going to show it. Yeah, you don't have to put in all this effort just to watch mm-hmm. twenty twenty five minutes of a of a show, right? Right. Yeah. And then since it's like since it's subscription based, you can do it without commercials. So this video on demand thing has done a lot of interesting stuff for it. So mm-hmm. I definitely think it helps the, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> the community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. So we have one more question. And this one comes from uh, Hippolito Ira, and he writes, Would you think that having a live adaptation of Boku no Hero would be cool? Also, are there any anime or manga that you're currently enjoying? Who? I, I have an answer to this already. I don't know if you do. Like, um, No, I've, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I personally am a big fan of live action stuff, like, mm-hmm. and... Uh, there have been some successes or, yeah. or at least good attempts at making like live action anime movie things mm-hmm. uh, and even live action. Sh- I mean, like um, folks at home, I also am a co-host on a podcast that focuses on tokusatsu as specifically the most recent uh, Super Sentai series. So I'm a fan of live action. I like mm-hmm. uh, daytime television CGI mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but I feel like their sort of recent attempts either have been sort of visually interesting uh, to adapt anime as live action. So I, I uh, and there's something that uh, something that as an anime for for Hero Academia, the, the how they animate him using uh, one for all is just it it's it's very striking. It's it's uh, wonderful. <laughs> and so to, I would like to see them try to animate it. Like, I don't think it's going to hurt the show. I don't think this kind of thing hurts the the original content. Like it's still going to exist, even if it's not mm-hmm. like a success. It's still going to keep going, right? But uh, pr- from personal experience, I liked the JoJo uh, live action movie they did last year. I don't think that it did well enough. Somebody said it didn't do well enough to to get a sequel, which is a shame. Uh, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a real. Shame. I thought it was neat. Like I thought it was like visually really cool. I think mm-hmm. what they did with the CGI and sort of restructuring it into a uh-huh. two hour movie was fun. And then I'm actually excited. Like, I didn't know in 2018 I would be excited to see a live action Bleach, but I am. So that's. <laughs> so do you think yeah, it comes you... down to, to execution? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, and I think like a competent director can do something good with it. Right. Um, with all the, f- I don't, I hesitate to recommend this and I won't, I will not do it with good, I could not do it with good conscience. But uh, the Roroni Kenshin movie the first one that I saw, I felt like it was really well done. Uh, it doesn't. It helps, of course, that I really like the actor from his experience on *Common Rider*, <laughs> which is this lends to my excitement for the the new *Bleach* stuff too. But mm-hmm. that I feel like it can succeed. It just has to be approached or handled well. I don't know. I don't know how else to put yeah, it. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, 
I think it has to be handled really well with a good understanding of the the source material and then seeing mm-hmm. the execution come come to life because I mean we've seen we've seen movies that do execution really poorly kind of I don't know if it's like a if an understanding thing or like I don't know yeah. like, like Dragon Ball like Oh yeah. <laughs> but but okay, but here's a counter example and I mean we can talk about if we can think about like the negative aspects of this or what what harms it um, right. but Shoot, what is that? Live, die, repeat. That movie. Live, die, repeat. Uh, um, um, was there another? Uh, uh, the Japanese title for it was "All You Need Is Kill," but um, you're talking about the Tom Cruise movie, right? Yeah, the Tom yeah. Cruise one. Like that. That, that, that was, was actually really cool. <laughs> and it was originally a manga. Yeah. So I think it can be done. It, can, it, just it definitely can be done, be... and then it becomes more accessible because people are like, "Oh, what is this?" And yeah, they... Edge of Tomorrow. I Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah. Ninety percent. They look into it. And on. People become more interested, but it, mm-hmm. I don't think it's more even just a anime manga issue. Like even I know me and my sister are big friends, and I know you, you guys are too, because uh, we've we've watched this with your sister, <laughs> um, hmm. the Last Airbender stuff. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. like people are avid fans about that, and to the point where some people in the community kind of just ignore the fact that there was a live action adaptation yeah i don't know what you're talking about uh, yeah like, <laughs> there, there was never a movie <laughs> yeah well no, no, they made a movie wow. no... <laughs> yeah but uh Can't it's believe. become like a joke at this point but like like movies like that and then even the netflix um death note mm. like it I, I don't know if it's an understanding issue or, or or what but yeah the execution is just kind of poorly done mm-hmm. uh, to the point where it kind of ruins the the stuff they were given with in the first place and then characterizations are kind of all over the place, right? Right. But I think I think maybe it's a lack. I don't know if it's a lack of commitment or if it's just because like, I I'd heard that uh, what's it? Willem Dafoe was fantastic in that one. I actually haven't seen it. Yeah, yet. I haven't seen it either. But but I I, I do want to see it. I wanted to check it out. Um, but the uh, another strong counter example that I just remembered that everyone should watch since it's on Netflix now is Speed Racer because mm. that movie is hype. The, it is the stylization fantastic... in that movie is actually super cool. So yes. really it's good kung fu racing movie exactly <laughs> please it's a, it's like please go over go the top but like super it. enjoyable over the top like yeah visually that's... pleasing right that is how you can do it like yes yeah. that's we've seen people please. do it and and be really good at it and people mm-hmm. and even i don't know if you're familiar with this there's a youtube channel called corridor digital and they do like a lot of like anime shorts oh yeah i've seen and some of their work, i think yeah. they just recently came out with like an, an anime baseball and they they've even done like oh, yeah. anime fidget spinner, spinners and oh yep it's yep, actually yeah, like super good they bring over like there's certain like styles and stuff that come from anime yeah. and and seeing it done in live action is actually pretty satisfying yeah yeah that's some good stuff yeah so yeah i think it can be done it's just a matter of who's doing it and the uh, the care to detail, I guess. The amount yeah. of care to the detail. Uh, oh, but the second second part to this, uh, this dude's question was, uh, are there any anime or manga you are currently enjoying? Uh, so for me, it's like most of the sh- weekly Shonen Jump lineup. Um, and I would strongly recommend the serialization because I think it's really, <laughs> really awesome. Yeah. Like uh, One Piece for sure. Your Academia, of course, mm-hmm. and then also uh, the things I would strongly recommend are Doctor Stone, Dr. Stone. Food Wars, and um, Black. I actually really like Black Clover. Uh, it gets a lot of guff, I think, just because whatever. It's like the, the seams are a little too obvious, maybe in 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 how shonen it is, but it's very shonen in a way that I like, and especially the way they're handling some of the stuff in the current arc is really fun. Um, but but Doctor Stone, a hundred percent, I think everybody should read because it's a very different kind of series. Mm-hmm. Promise Neverland also is fantastic. Like it's both of these are pretty unusual in how they approach it. But uh, somebody somebody uh, described. Oh, okay. Somebody described <laughs> Doctor Stone as um, a, a shonen sports series, but instead of sports, it's focused on science, and that's that's a pretty. I, I don't know if pretty, that doesn't appeal to you. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty that's, good way of putting it. Yeah, and, it, and the author, uh, the author artist team is the author from uh, I Shield Twenty One, which I I don't really pay attention to American football, but uh, forever and ever my favorite football team uh, will be the Devil Bats. I know you've mentioned Twenty One. <laughs> yeah, you've mentioned this before. <laughs> it's true. They're great. Yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, that that's a really and then the the, the artist is Boichi, uh known for uh the Breaker, Sun Ken Rock, and a couple other things, but but it's a really strong team. So Yeah. I mean I would have know. to piggyback off of these because uh the guy who's actually asking these questions He's the guy I ask for recommendations. Oh, is that right? <laughs> okay. And anime. So uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what to recommend to him if he recommends no. stuff to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if I were if I were to be recommending stuff to say like my my sisters who mm. don't read as much manga manga or comics, I, mean, I would I would definitely say even Doctor Stone because I like I like the science aspect to it. Have you been reading it? I've actually been reading it. Yeah. I've been I'm, Oh man. I'm super oh, early boy. on, but it's super I like the intensity of the first couple of Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's super intense, but it's like science and yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> advancing mankind yeah, has never advanc- been so yeah, exciting. Yeah, advancing mankind and... from like it's like bringing yeah, yeah I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have words for this right now. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really good. Um but oh, but for uh, the anime the season I'm following, uh it's uh, Hero Academia, of course, Food Wars, <laughs> already said this, but uh, Golden Kamui, um, it's like a a gold, what is it, a treasure hunt series taking place in early 1900s Japan in Hokkaido. Mm. Uh, it's really, really fun. Uh, people have dunked on it for having a CGI bear. <laughs> um, I think like it's a, like an obviously it's... CGI bear. It's really obvious. It's not even. It's like uh, just like oh, there's the bear everyone was talking about. But I think that the series is. I think it's still really interesting, and I think it's worth checking out. Um, but aside from that, um, Hinamatsuri, which is really really good, um, a yakuza dad. Like I, he's not even a dad. The yakuza dude <laughs> basically has to adopt this super powerful Esper psychic type girl that shows up in his house one day. <laughs> and he just he's just like if i don't keep an eye on this girl the world might end or something it's not like that's sort of a thought he has but it's a very it's kind of like a slice of life series just but the com- the comedic timing is very very good i think that's that's it but i would rec- I, I if i if i could recommend it or demand anybody watch any of that it would probably be hinamatsuri just because it's so oh yeah yeah it's so good yeah yeah <laughs> So that's it for our Twitter questions. Uh, do did you have anything else to add to this? Um, thanks for having me on. I oh yeah, I'd be on a podcast talking about anime, and manga, and comics, and and everything. And it's super. It was actually super fun. And yeah, definitely want to do I, it again. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Maybe we'll do the uh, we'll do the Hero Academia special whenever you come visit. <laughs> yeah, <let's, laughs> I don't wait. know if you'll have time for that, but <laughs> yeah. And so people can follow you on Twitter at just at good job underscore grandpa. Yep. Is that right? Just good, right. good job grandpa. Yeah. I I feel like I should ask about the meaning behind it because I forgot. But um, no. It's actually part <laughs> part of it actually comes from you. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. Oh, we, hmm. When you visited, I was asking because I, I was having trouble coming up with like uh, like an uh, like an alias, right? Because yeah. I didn't like all the, the online names I was using before. And I already oh, had no, this. Yeah. I already had the icon that I have associated with that that Twitter, the the GJ. So I wanted uh-huh. to keep it GJ, and you you just said good job. I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, oh, <laughs> I'll run with that. And then and then I just added Grandpa for like alliteration or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, great. I'm glad that I contributed to your <laughs> internet fame. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's fame or well, what. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Thanks for being on. We'll we'll bring you back for another episode, another round, focus episode. I think. Yeah. That's cool. That was awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for tuning in to the Comic Fiends Comic Friends. And don't forget... The Comic Fiend is your comic friend, too.